What's up, sons? It's Blind Rod with Son of a Tech once again, and apologies for the audio. We are using a new wireless setup so I can move over to the, to the test bench for this tutorial. Today we're going to be covering flashing the GTX 1660 Super Hynix models to unlock up to 34 mega hash a second, depending on, of course, your silicon lottery there. Let's get into it right after a word from our sponsor. Today's sponsor is Crypto.com. Crypto.com is my go-to centralized exchange for liquidating my crypto assets. With their Crypto.com Visa debit card, I can load up my mined Ethereum to pay for power and other operating costs quickly while earning up to 8% cash back. In addition to the Visa debit card, there are additional fiat options including wire transfers to easily receive your profits. Crypto.com also offers additional services including trading and even staking to earn additional revenue on your investments. Join 10 million plus users buying and selling 100 plus cryptocurrencies at true cost by using my affiliate link in the description for a $25 funding bonus. Or enter referral code SOAT at sign up for the same bonus. Remember, cryptocurrency investment comes with significant risks, so do your own research. Welcome back. So first of all, I wanted to thank everybody in the comments for bringing this to my attention. Two days ago on Reddit, there was a post that announced uh, basically by a, another miner, a user, that they were able to flash the GTX 1660 Super Hynix models to an MSI or Palette BIOS, depending on your situation, to unlock the hash rate. Now, the interesting part about this is in the post, they mentioned that they can only flash the MSI BIOS in Windows and it won't flash in HiveOS. That being said, you can flash the Palette BIOS in, of course, HiveOS apparently, but I wouldn't really necessarily say that you have to. You can just flash the cards on a Windows system to the MSI BIOS, install the cards into a Hive OS system and it will function. The Palette BIOS in my experience does not work with MSI Afterburner for overclocking. So while it will unlock the hash rate up to 30 mega hash a second, it won't actually get to that 34 mega hash a second at the lower wattage because also the grayed out bar happens for the power slider and MSI Afterburner on the Palette BIOS. So what we're going to show you guys today is how to flash over to the MSI BIOS and then from there we're going to go ahead and show you guys the overclocks we have put in place to get or obtain 34 mega hash a second. So first things first, once you have your card installed, you're going to want to go ahead and make sure that it is the Hynix memory. So you can see that by opening GPU-Z and... As you can see here under memory type, it says GDDR6 Hynix. So this particular card hasn't been flashed yet, so we can start from scratch for this one. And we're just gonna go ahead and open that Reddit post here in my history. So we're gonna go ahead and pop this open. And as you can see, uh, two days ago, it was posted by user SC Scoozer or SZC Zer, anyways. New BIOSes to MSI and Pali 1660 Super with Hynix memory. After flash is 33.5 to 34.5 mega hash a second with 83 to 87 watts. No more negative clocks. Now working at 1050, 2490 in Hive. So those are the Hive settings he has. Plus, of course, the little view window here or a screenshot proving it. And then here are the links to the BIOS. I'll leave a link to this Reddit post down below and I will download the BIOSes or biases or bias. There we go. Yeah, I don't know how to pronounce it in plural. And we'll go ahead and keep, keep those somewhere for you guys to check out. So today we're gonna to be going over the MSI version. Let me clear out my downloads folder just to make this really, really easy for everybody. So we're gonna delete that so it's empty. And the first thing we're gonna do is just click the Dropbox download. Now do this at your own risk. ROM files can't be previewed and you'll want to go ahead and run a checksum, that sort of thing to make sure you get the proper one click download and at this point we can open the folder and we have the BIOS here. I'm going to rename it to 1660msi.rom uh, and then the next thing we're going to need to get 
is the flash tool. So under the flash tool, we're basically going to be looking for NV flash. So we're gonna just do an NV flash search here. I'll show you guys. Typically, you just wanna snag it from Tech Power Up. That's gonna be the safest download. We're gonna get the one for Windows 10 and then just go through a US mirror, go through whichever mirror is closer to you. And at that point, we have NV flash downloaded. So we're going to go ahead and right click and say 7-zip and extract here and we'll have nvflash64.exe which is the executable. So we have everything that we need to go ahead and flash this. At this point we're going to go ahead and open a command prompt. We're going to right click and say run as administrator and of course approve the UAC and we're going to want to go ahead and change directory to the downloads folder. So at this point we're just going to go ahead and do change directory let's see so for you let's see it'll be users for us it'll be blind run or whatever your username is and then downloads you can just do a control c over there right click into the window and press enter and we are in the proper directory we can run a dir command or a dir command there to go ahead and confirm that we're in the proper directory you can see we have the rom here and nvflash.executable so at this point we need to determine which card we are flashing if you have more than one card in the system to do that we're going to do nvflash 64 dash dash list so let me copy right click in press enter It'll say that on GPU 0, we have the 3060. On GPU 1, we have the 1660 Super. So we're going to want to basically modify the next command and replace the index with 1 because that's the card that we are flashing. We'll have a switch for dash 6 and then the ROM name. So we named our 1660 MSI. At this point, I'm just going to highlight this out of Notepad. Do a Control C. Right click into the command prompt to paste it in and press enter. You may lose visibility for a second and they'll ask you if you want to continue. You'll type Y for yes. It'll say update display firmware, Y for yes. And at this point it will begin to flash. All right, so you should get a message that says a reboot is required for the update to take effect. So you're gonna press the start button, power and restart. And then we'll get into the overclocks once it's rebooted. All right, so now that it's rebooted, we're just gonna get logged back in. For today's example, we're gonna be using the NV miner because it's the most updated right now. And then we are gonna be using MSI Afterburner. All right, I'm gonna let Afterburner go ahead and run. Now for the power consumption, just like previously, we're gonna do 60. And on the core clock, we're gonna leave it alone for now. And on the memory, we're gonna go ahead and lock in 1300 or plus 1300. And then we're gonna scroll down and start the eth.batch file to go ahead and start mining. Give it one more click through to get the full hash rate, but already out of the box, you can see first run, we're already at 32 mega hash a second over 32 mega hash a second, so already better than where we were at previously before the flash. And there is the 34 mega hash a second. So at this point, we're at 34 mega hash a second on the kilowatt off the wall, which if you guys aren't familiar, we have it basically just on an 80 plus gold that is running the riser and the 1660 super. It is showing 97.5 watts. And then if we look into the actual miner itself, it says that we are reading at 84 watts. So of course, like we stated before, because of efficiencies, the kilowatt will read as more. And this is currently the best settings I've figured out for the 1660 Super. So there you go, guys. We have the Hynix Memory 1660 Super running at 34 mega hash a second with this quick and simple fix or basically BIOS flash. If you have any questions or concerns, let me know in the comment section below or head on over to the Rocket Chat by joining the, the channel memberships and we can help you out over there as well. I'll have a link, of course, like I said, to the original Reddit post down below in the description so you can grab the BIOS files as well as a link to Tech Power Up GPU Z and of course the link for NV Flash on Tech Power Up. 
That being said, of course, if you have any more issues or of course the BIOS files get taken down off Dropbox, let me know and we will find an alternate upload location for these particular files. Thanks for watching. Be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell for all things cryptocurrency and cryptocurrency mining. And I will see you next Tuesday. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to see more. Also, you can check out this playlist for more content talking about cryptocurrency.